Alright, next video. Um, Keeping up with Star Wheel, Shreyi, Unbreakable Puppet Doll. On the Sienjo Lafu, the Ten Lords Commission operates in the shadows and steers clear of politics. But when it comes to the Mara Struck, the Commission wields supreme authority, dispatching ghost-like judges to apprehend their targets. They say that every judge possesses unique and exceptional abilities, but that the people who join the Ten Lords have pass that are better left unquestioned. Shui Yi is one such person, though perhaps the word person no longer applies. Why? Because Shui Yi is a quantum type character following the path of destruction whose physical body long since turned to dust. She now resides within a puppet body given to her by the Ten Lords and repays her previous life's karma by apprehending wrongdoers. When Shui Yi uses her basic attack, mm -hmm. she deals quantum damage to a single target based on her attack. Right. Using her skill, Shui Yi deals quantum damage to a single target and adjacent enemies based on her attack. All right. During exploration, when Shui Yi uses her technique, she immediately attacks the enemy. After entering battle, she deals quantum damage to all enemies. No bad. As one of the four judges responsible for detention, interrogation, incarceration, and punishment, Shui Yi is charged with the foremost, sparing no mercy in the face of evil. When unleashing her ultimate, she deals quantum damage to a single target based on her attack. This attack ignores the enemy's yeah, weakness type and depletes their toughness. Enemies with their weakness broken in this way will trigger the quantum weakness break effect. The more toughness depleted in this attack, the higher the damage dealt. This buff effect oh, has okay. an upper limit. Each time Shui uses an attack to depletes the enemy's toughness, she accumulates karma. The more right. toughness depleted, the more stacks of karma accumulated. Allies that deplete enemy toughness are also able to accumulate karma for Shui Yi in this way. Once the karma okay. stack limit is reached, Shui Yi instantly launches a follow-up attack, dealing multiple hits of damage. Each hit oh, deals damage okay. to a random enemy, equivalent to a set percentage of Shui Yi's attack. These follow-up attacks do not accumulate karma. After unlocking a specific trace, Shui Yi accumulates excess stacks of karma up to a set limit. After Shui Yi's talent is triggered, she gains karma stacks equal to the number of excess stacks. Keep candles lit and evils at bay. Banish the Mara and the author of plagues. Don Hung takes the initiative, dealing damage to the Disciple of Sanctus Medicus shapeshifter and depleting their toughness. Shui Yi falls up in a flash, activating her skill, dealing damage, and depleting the toughness of the Mara struck soldiers. These two attacks have allowed Shui Yi to build up her karma. Despite the enemy's desperate resistance, the divine punishment of the Ten Lords is imminent. After another onslaught, Shui Yi's karma is almost completely stacked. With her ultimate, Shui Yi bypasses the enemy's weakness type, depleting their toughness and dealing increased damage proportionate to the toughness decrease. Judgment has descended as Shui Yi launches a follow-up attack. Swept up in the ruthless dance of the judge's blade, the enemy and their misdeeds are decimated. Karmic atonement. Better to lose your golden jade than to enter the shackling prison. Better to suffer disaster than to face a judge. As a judge, the world gives Shui Yi a wide berth. Few could imagine that within this cold exterior lies an ordinary girl. For every culprit she apprehends, Shui Yi is granted a half day's respite in the world of the living. The struggle to rebuild her soul and reclaim her humanity is ongoing, but the day those wishes are realized still seems like a distant dream. Okay. I pretty much get the rough, I, rough idea of how to use some Shui Yi. And based on this video itself, right, Shui Yi looks like a more a better a better four-star quantum character compared to Qing Xue. But then again, Qing Xue is not that bad, but her 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 kid is kinda niche to be very honest. Shui Yi on the other hand, right, she feels it looks like she's more consistent in terms of dealing um, damage from the way I see it. But then again, this is just my my personal honest opinion. And I'm kind of I'm kind of glad that I got Shui when I was bullied for one May, even though she's only at like what I believe I got her at E two, if I remember correctly. 
but I hope at E2, um, Shreya can help me clear the um, the simulated universe swarm disaster because I'll be very frank, I do not have Zilla, I do not have Duncan in Bible Lune, so I'm really having difficulty clearing the simulated universe swarm disaster till this day. So hopefully, once I fully build um, Shreya, hopefully she can uh, um, help me, um, she can clear the simulated universe swarm disaster which I have, have unable to clear for them ever since the re its release back in September 2023 and uh, so yeah once I've done uh, leveling up uh, I think I pretty much fully built a run me if I remember quite if I'm not mistaken so I will definitely build um, Shreyi later on and hopefully once again, hopefully she will. I will get to clear the swarm disaster with Shreyi. That's all I have to say about that. <laughs>